And it's it's neat. They only got three or four four picnic tables. Oh, and then some on the outside. There seems to be a lot of sand in this region. This might just be natural sand that sits here. This is a beach with a nice clear water. And uh, it doesn't look like it's used too much. The grass is kind of coming back. It did, yeah, it's clear. It's cleared out at one time of these cattails, which actually I might be able to pull some. As sandy as all this is. Oh, somebody over here driving. I wonder where they're going. Is there a park spot over there? He's going up to the lake, probably fishing. Little beak, and they have rules that say no foul language. The county is not going to enforce that very well. Some dude just took this trail over this way and went deep in. I think he's going to the... Yeah, there's a dog walking his dog while driving. <clears throat> Alright, this is an orange sign that said road closed. Coming this way. And then this is like the welcome sign again that I showed on the beach talking about the rules for the park my car is in there and then walking in here that's a bridge i'm thinking they might have closed the road because uh, the bridge is too weak for cars possibly i don't think that closed road sign applies to uh people walking and look at that somebody threw a road another road close into the water and that might have been to uh, set up to cover this whole bridge I don't see any sign of where it would have been placed but it's in the water now and it's a bit of a creek or maybe a river because it's sounds like it's really flowing hell oh, yeah it narrows a lot over here and this is this is concrete, it looks like, but oddly poured concrete. But yeah, I'm, I'm considering going into the the base to look around, but uh, I want to get my bicycle for that. It's supposed to be this way somewhere. The, the road doesn't look that closed. Maybe got to go further down. So at this bridge, I could see that there's quite a lot of cracking, quite a lot of cracking uh, underneath for the support beam. Seems to be a little off center as well, it's cracking on this side. So that, it doesn't look like it can handle much more weight than, than, uh, than just people. Yeah, and then this side is just worn away. So they put a new bridge over the old beams because you could kind of, I think, I think uh, I'm looking at two different time frames that they were set up. All right, I'm using water for these cut potatoes and then I'll just evaporate it all so it'll be kind of boiling and then move to roasting. And uh, I want to time it for 20 minutes. It's about how long it takes for them normally. I want to make sure enough water gets under. They'll probably still end up sticking. I haven't turned the heat on yet. So we'll see what happens. They're awful. Th they're really thick on purpose. But I'd really like this to be successful. I like roasted potatoes. I don't want them too roasted, but I want them fully cooked too. So they appear to still be flying military jets in, in and out of K.I. Sawyer's uh, airport. There's a big, I think, C-130 that just land is landing. So because I got this rain coming in, I don't want to stop the cooking. But it begs the question, can I ignore them potatoes for the first 10 minutes? Just let, it, let that water handle it, regulate the temperature and all that without touching them let's see i feel like there's a good chance i could just sleep here overnight 
it doesn't really have a lot of people doesn't seem like they're gonna they would patrol it if they don't patrol it during the day chances of them patrolling at night got to be pretty slim all right so they're boiling pretty good about 12 minutes in actually I think the water could last the whole 20 minutes that should be okay they they move they, when I first put them the first time I tried cooking these I uh, I did it without water and they stuck so hard so this is a little bit better this is a way to keep them drier this is about two potatoes I think I wonder if I should have another pan that way I wouldn't have this problem of burning uh, the potatoes because I don't know what's smoking exactly I think the sesame seeds are smoking a little bit but it's got to be mostly the potatoes. I better stop this. Because they are browning. It doesn't take long to roast, to toast uh, sesame seeds. They are burning a little bit. Well, it gets some of that burnt flavor. I like that burnt flavor. I don't know how healthy it is, but man, I, I like it. Then I want to toss this into the potatoes. And then kind of mash it all together. All right, so sesame seeds, green onions, toast, roasted, roasted to make roasted potatoes, toasted sesame seeds. They're pretty good, but um, the potatoes are a little undercooked still. So, gotta figure something out with that. Twenty minutes. Not quite long enough. So I'm actually noticing winter green around here. All these little glossy <clears throat> types of leaves. Mm. I'm tasting one, and it tastes like the winter green. It's a glossy, low-lying leaf that doesn't grow very tall. A little surprised to see it. I guess I never thought of it as growing in Michigan, too. But it definitely in the far north regions, <clears throat> on the edge of the hill here. I don't understand this game suggestion. Disc shoe? Looks like somebody tried to bend it for some reason. Bend it off. You use putters? Player with most points in a round goes first next. Fly true? All right, I got another tack at this shelter. I expected to get see one. So I got two tacks, because one tack wasn't, didn't seem to really be holding the camera in place very well. So two tacks is, is more necessary. And then I could just hang this thing by magnets wherever. And then uh, the challenge is being able to prop up the whoops yeah see it kind of moves can't really do move a whole lot and the challenge is being able to hold up the stick in places if i decide to do any recording okay after a little evaluation i'm thinking maybe maybe i might want a third one because what if i want to hold it like this it'll stay if i just stand it up but what if i want to hold the stick I think maybe a third one right below, have a triangle look, might be more desirable. Alright, so I decided to go with four now. And I could go with six, but this has got a pretty strong attachment. Oh, I don't like that it spins. Four is a pretty strong attachment. Six would be a little bit better. I don't want it to interfere with my stretching. All right, I saw a truck down here with uh, his lights flashing. And I was here before and these signs were not up. One of them was in the water. So he might have fished one out of the water. I see they got road closed on both ends. So this looks like it's a uh, continuing controversy. They probably put up a 
trail cam somewhere too. Let's find out who put who put the uh, road closed in the in the water. This doesn't look wet. I think it's to discourage drivers, not to discourage walkers. But yeah, there there wasn't one on the other side either. Okay. So yeah, he did fish it out of the water. One of these. Notice if red beacon is on or amber light is out. Oh, they've got this permanently closed. Well, I don't really see any kind of lights. It's an old warning. They don't even have a, a meter reader. All right, they decided to buy another one of these plates. So now I got two of these. They got a little weight. I just, I feel like I can make use of two because I've been uh, cooking multiple things and sometimes I just like to leave the last thing on the plate and just let it stay warm. So I'm doing that and I'm also considering another blanket, another king sized or large, extra large blanket or sleeping bag because it, it's, it looks like I got room to put one more and I don't have confidence that I'll find one out in the woods again like I have been. Marquette, Michigan, Marquette, Michigan. So yeah, I slept at a Walmart. It was a little, it's got a lot of campers. And then I moved over here just across the street so I could cook. But I see that the church discourages people hanging out here. I'm going to hang out here and cook anyway. I don't think this should be a problem. So even though Walmart is jam-packed full of vehicles around this store, they got problems with people parking here. First of all, I thought the signs over here were mainly just for the church. There's a line of them. But... Yeah, I see this blue sign here. I'm gonna be taking my chances. So I really like a little privacy for cooking. It's not easy to find good privacy. <clears throat> what I'm parking in front of is a Halloween Superstore, which it doesn't open until the 24th. So yeah, they got things in there, but I got a few days, a couple of weeks. They're not, they're not doing anything out here. So I bought the largest sleeping bag I could find in Walmart. They, they actually had two, two person sleeping bag. I still got a little room in this car. And because I took out so much, that I do have space to bring this in and it's really much needed because I do sometimes reach the metal I don't know I think that's just needed for cushion but also warmth in the winter I think it could be used until this car breaks down which it doesn't seem very long from breaking down it happens all the time I expect it and it happened again when I go to pour my pee I walk over to all the way over to that grass and I could have parked up next to it but this lady starts pulling up towards me and then she walks in there but as she was pulling up to me I had my camera ready if they wanted to say something it happens all the time somebody always pulls up to me that's that's the car culture life for you you're dealing with cars just quickly catch uh, to overtaking you when you want to go out and pour your pee in the grass. I don't pour it in the parking lot, that's for sure. But I have to walk some distance with that container and it's probably going to draw questions. This, uh, I don't know, frying type of grill, grilling pad. It's kind of got the look of my pot, which is the enamel. And, yeah, boiling has created... 
a problem for me with a swamp stomach, I think. The burping and the sick feeling. And I'm finding an improvement by grilling. Grilling the potatoes, grilling the eggs. So I think I want to turn to grilling more than boiling. But I still want to boil. I mean, there's things that can be boiled. I can mix it up. You can grill too much. So I'm learning that it doesn't exactly matter the type of food that you use. It's also about how you cook it. And I was boiling eggs with the steak. That's not going to happen anymore. I can't be doing eggs with steak. So I want to do them separate. I want to do eggs separate. It takes a little bit more time. It's not as easy. It's so much easier just to toss the eggs in, you know, the last 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes of the steak's cooking time, and then just time it, and that's it. But cooking on the plates, I got to watch them. Not just about a timing issue, guessing a good time getting a feel for a good time. It's about actually inspecting them, having to make use of these more. And I can get up to four on this, four eggs of these variety, which I keep in here. And I wanna say that I've been keeping eggs in here even on the hottest days, the 90 degree days. And I've dunked them to see if they float and they don't float usually even after a couple of days in that super hot weather. So they're doing okay. In the open environment they don't exactly need refrigeration and then uh, I'll use them I'll cook them and you know I was boiling them but now I just want to uh, grill them I'm thinking I'm gonna be grilling eggs only they seem to have a good consistency they do want to stick this is non-stick they want to stick but I'll have to see the progression of this non-stick and how effective it is. I just cleaned one and I can't remember which is the one that I cleaned. They're so pretty new. Pretty new. It's a little bit of brown. Oh yeah, there's brown stain on this. So yeah, this top one is the one. I got to figure out how I want to do this. I'm sitting here thinking, how do I want to do this? I think steak first, boil the steak 15 minutes. But I'm getting pressure from these people. This lady's not even leaving her car. So I'm getting pressure from the people in the parking lot now because i got to stand outside my car and, and then w sit for 15 minutes and have people checking me out every minute or so. Like, I got her now in, my, in her side view mirror so she can look back and check me out in the side view mirror. And that's annoying. All right. Um, and it's especially annoying having to stand outside my car and then I'm just, you know, they see that I'm not smoking a c cigarette. I guess I need to start smoking cigarettes to make it look like I got something going on. But I'm going to cook the steak, boil the steak, and then 50, after 15 minutes, take that off, cook eggs on this, and then get them off. Maybe take this plate, set it off to the side with the, the boiled steak, and then I could toast bread. Uh, and possibly, I don't know, uh, bread, I guess, is about it. Yeah, it feels like she keeps looking back at me. It's a really annoying. Really annoying. And, I mean, they come here every day, and so then they see me standing out here. They get suspicious, and I don't really have anywhere else to go um, that I know of, because that library is unpleasant. There's a park near the library, which I guess I might want to consider. But uh, yeah, she keeps checking her side view mirror and looking at me. That's really annoying. Really annoying. I think I will go, I like to go to the grocery store. I think I'd like to also grill some onions too. <laughs> I got a plan. But uh, now I got to deal with uh, this lady. I think I'm just gonna have to leave. Look at those eyes. Right, she just took off. So I'm confused. It's like maybe I could cook in this parking lot. Just enough. I just need need maybe a half hour, 45 minutes, and then I could head over to the the library. 
And also, I'm very confused about the time because I set this this clock right here. Uh oh. I had my light on too, so when I was recording her, my light was on. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I saw the reflection. How did that turn on again? Well, the light, the time seems to have uh, changed uh, back to 8.48 when it was not, when I changed it to 9.48. But this, this camera phone seems to maintain the time. I guess the ultimate test is, is to find uh, my tablet, which is lost again. All right, this time the bread hit it. It was hiding behind the bread. I got 9.49, so let me check. So my atomic clock reverted back mistakenly. My atomic clock doesn't know, my atomic clock thinks I'm in Central Standard Time and it's an atomic clock, so it automatically switches and it thinks that where I'm at in Marquette is still, still 8.50 when it's supposed to be 9.50 because I changed the tablet and I changed my, my, uh, my phone and they're both showing 9.50 so it's almost 10 now and I think that's more appropriate. The atomic clock is messed up. All right, so now I actually want to back up and push forward closer to the edge here. The lady, the truck was parked to your left. I kind of assumed that was just somebody coming out for a walk. It's, uh, it's on gravel. It's not an easy push, but it can be done. Good exercise. All right, I already see one problem that's going to cause confusion for me, and I have to actually use my brain when preparing food. I didn't even put water in here. I got eggs, or I mean I got steak and potatoes. And I think nothing of having water in there. When I was really into full boiling everything, I always had, I always thought about needing water. But I don't think about water so much with these grill pads. And that's cute, and the thought process is carrying over to the pot. So, cooking takes, oh, can't seem to pour it. Steering wheels in the way. Cooking takes concentration. It really does. You gotta be thinking about everything. I'm thinking only 15 minutes. I'm okay if the potatoes are undercooked because uh, I may not eat them right away and I finish them off on a pan. On a pan. All right, I gotta admit, I do. I did get a little bout of sick feeling in my stomach and I think it's because I ate two bananas drank a half gallon of milk almost and then um, peanuts you know I don't know if the peanuts are very likely to cause me my sick stomach they're roasted roasted should not be causing a sick stomach I think I would be more likely to blame the bananas and milk to have led to this sick feeling in my stomach because I got a swamp in my stomach I got something overtaking my stomach that loves wet foods I think it's just a the theory because dry fruit dry foods are not really hurting me uh, so I think it's a wet dry issue a dampness dryness issue but if it's the peanuts or if the bananas are hurting me, then uh, that would rule out the brat diet as something that could help me. Toast, apples, um, bananas, and then rice. Those uh, are supposed to help with sickness. And if I'm getting sick from bananas, then I gotta look elsewhere. <laughs> and bread seems pretty good. I cannot eat bread raw for a long time just only toasted that's got to be the standard now and uh i mean when i watched by bob simonson uh when he was 89 years old he was toasting bread he said he cut out meats 
to use toasting bread. So I think toasting is a good idea. I mean, he was toasting that cheap bread, trying to get the better stuff. But uh, I gotta make sure things are, are dry. It's only natural to, I mean, the, the, the toast is so good, with, uh, with, and I don't need honey as much. I was really giving in to the just raw bread with, and honey. Honey was only the, the only thing making that raw bread taste good. But then I started toasting the bread, and the honey doesn't make it taste as great. All right, so I finished the uh, steak. Oh, I don't want to open this very much. It's too windy. I'm going to just keep them on this side, shut it off in a little bit when it looks like they're good enough. But the steak is over there, boiled with some potatoes, eggs. I'm going to just keep these eggs on this plate and then use the other plate for toasting. I think, yeah, two plates will work better. And the key to be able to moving these plates is using this silicone tong. I'm, I'm learning how to use it. All right, waiting long enough, I, I was able to flip it. I need two of these things, and yeah, somewhat successful there. It's, it holds together pretty good. So I'm thinking that I want to dry out that steak a little bit. It's New York strip steak, not a cheap one. I'm thinking when I'm done toasting about eight slices, maybe ten slices, I want a lot. I'll uh, pull that steak and put it on the pan and get that a little roasted, a little dried out more. Better dried out is desirable. Yeah, roasting and toasting feels like a relief on my stomach. Uh, thinking about boiling. Boiled foods now make me kind of feel sick. I really hope that's it, though. It's like, wow, have I found the root cause of my sickness? Not the bad water, air, whatever, all the other things I was thinking. Just simply boiling too much. And my problem before that was that I wasn't eating meat enough meat and my heart was going nuts late at night so I bring meat in but all I do is boil it and then uh, that started bringing its own problems that I have to solve roasting and toasting it is extremely windy out here as I stand out here the wind uh, lifts up the sand from the beach and just blows it at me when it really gusts. I gotta turn around and try to avoid having it get in my eyes and, and mouth. I would, it would be completely impossible to cook outside in this kind of wind. I saw, I rolled up all the windows except for the back one here. Just to maintain the air. All right, I kind of finally figured out that Tourist Park, since Tourist Park is full, I got a sign that says campers camping is full. That's probably what reason why there's so many campers in the Walmart parking lot. They just spilled over into Walmart. All right, finishing up the steak on the, the grill. Sounds better. I want to try it out some. Toast is done, got eggs in there, eggs toast, the meats, the potatoes will roast another day. It's very nice to have tongs. They uh, uh, make things a little bit easier. I don't need to roast it too much because it's already pretty well cooked. And these this these onions are kind of, this onion is kind of bad. I don't even know if I want to use it. Yeah, eating uh, egg sandwiches with steak. It's a pretty decent combination. I should have some vegetables in some way, but I would with onions if uh, this wasn't bad. I I was thinking about buying more onions when I saw this. I didn't think about it would be rotten in the center, which takes out a lot of the onion and I don't know I, I didn't want to cut it like this <laughs> so it's kind of not in the best shape 
So that's one pound of steak, six eggs. I'm feeling a little lightheaded. That was a lot of fat, plus the whole milk. That was a lot of fat. I don't know if I'm gonna survive this. I actually put cayenne pepper in the milk and I've been drinking it. <clears throat>